Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles new love reading for my dearest Pisces. Pisces, we're going to take a look at who's coming towards you in love. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Ooh, and just a friendly reminder, I am available for private readings. So if you are after one, I have them listed, the links down below in the description box. All right, Pisces, let's see who's coming towards you in love. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Pisces, please. All right, we have possibly another Pisces or a Cancer person. It could be a secret admirer here. Ooh, this person is going to be hot for you, Pisces. A very strong sexual connection here. All right, what they like about you, the Knight of Wands. This person might say, say to you they think you're twin flames or soulmates. Um, this person sees stability with you, but there's also just a lot of passion. This person's going to be just like ridiculously attracted to you. <laughs> All right, and we've got Cancerian energy. This person's coming in hot, Pisces. Wow. All right. Let's see. And we've got the Knight of Cups. This is going to be a romance of a lifetime. I'm telling you, get ready. This is going to be like where you two don't see the light of day for days because you can't keep your hands off of each other type relationship. <laughs> Pisces, what is going on? All right. So <clears throat> I also heard, I mean, I did, I have to say this, it's, it's a little bit vulgar, but I did hear squirt when I pulled the Knight of Wands there, so take it as it resonates. <laughs> I know this, it's this reading, it's this energy, what can I say? All right, the Moon card. So this person's very creative, very loving, very, very intuitive. You two are soulmates. You two, like, you could be opposites in a lot of ways, but you really complement each other. All right, okay, this person... They're not looking for just dating and having fun. This person is going to really recognize this soulmate connection with the two of you. Like I said, they might even use that language. Like we're soulmates, right? Um, I feel like this person's not looking for, um, yeah, like they're, they're, they're going to, if there are other options around them, they're going to shut them down, Pisces, after they meet you. This person's done dating. Like they don't want to date. They want their person. That's what I'm getting. This person could also be very different from you. Okay, um, I feel this person has gotten out of a karmic third party situation, but I, I feel they're over it. I feel like they've closed out that cycle, Pisces. I feel like they're open, they're available, they're ready for love. And I have to show you at the bottom of the deck, I'm getting confirmation that you're connecting with someone of a different race, religion, or culture than your own. Get ready. This person, there's there's like sex magic here between the two of you. But I mean, it's it's nothing to be <laughs> nothing to be worried about, right? It's like wow. Okay, let's see. Clear mag clear magic, <laughs> clear messages, advice, and guidance. We've got business owner, so someone who's successful. They invest effort and creativity into personal fulfillment and wealth. All right, this person leads a healthy lifestyle, so I do see they work out regularly. Um, they most likely have a pretty solid health and wellness routine in place. I also see they're a healthy eater. And they could have Aries in their chart. So they're strong, they're resilient, they take risks. They have a carefree, youthful personality. I also see this person looks a lot younger than they really are. And this person does not have children, but watch out because I do see there's potential for pregnancy early on in this connection. Like I said, you are not going to be able to keep your hands off of each other. I mean, the message is spicy. This is probably the most sexually charged reading I've done in quite some time. All right. So with the Ace of Wands, again, passion, passion. This is somebody new coming into your life. They're rolling in money. This person's got a lot to offer, Pisces. They're a heartbreaker. They're going to be ridiculously good looking. Ridiculously good looking. A trail of broken hearts behind this person. All right. And they're awakened. Yeah. This person, you know, they're spiritual. They've been through it. They've been through a dark night of the soul. With this heartbreaker energy, though, I don't think that this person is like a player, right? But I do think that if they were dating, like when they meet you, they're just going to shut down other options or other possibilities. And that and people are going to be heartbroken about that. This person is also an awesome cook. 
beautiful. So a lot of you, you're going to spend some time in the kitchen, cooking amongst other things. I mean, I can't get my head out of the gutter here, Pisces, with this reading. It's this energy between the two of you. All right, let's see. How else will my Pisces be able to identify this person? All right, uh, they met you more than a year ago. Okay, but I don't think this is somebody you've dated or at least you have dated them seriously. I don't think so. They may come from overseas, so they could be currently abroad. Um, this person's background too, their roots might be in another country. All right. Ooh. They have lighter skin, so take it as it resonates. Maybe re lighter than their ethnic background, maybe lighter than you, lighter than your ex. Trust your intuition here. And your first kiss will be within a year from now. So you definitely haven't kissed this person. That's what I'm getting. Or at least not. <laughs> I, I'm going to stop. I, I don't know what's going on here. I was going to say you've never been kissed like the way this person's going to kiss you, right? <laughs> and they have dreams about you. So they find you to be very dreamy. I think this person is very dreamy. Pisces, this is very, very powerful energy. Let's see what else we need to know. Like I said, you're not going to be able to keep your hands off of each other. Strong, strong connection. It's also going to be very romantic. It's going to be a very deep connection as well, though. I mean, I do see that here with the moon and the chariot card. Loving and nurturing. So they, they have lighter skin. They may have lighter eyes. Blue, green, gray, or hazel eyes. Their initials could contain D, H, A, P, T, V, and K. And they may have a career in hospitality. This person, again, they might travel a lot. Maybe they travel for work or they work in travel, hotel, restaurant, entertainer, customer service rep. I'm telling you, Pisces, this is a romance of a lifetime. They are romantic. And, and so are you. Deep down, so are you. Or maybe not even so deep down. They're going to give you flowers and gifts. They're going to wine and dine you, take vacations just because. Some of you, they have some sort of in with hotels. Like if they do work in hospitality, like or maybe they're a flight attendant or something like that, or they work for the airline, something along those lines. Like I feel like they get some sort of perks. Again, if they travel a lot for work, they might have, you know, a credit card with loads of miles on it, things like that. Or they get like, you know, um, like I'm just seeing them being part of like some sort of like travel club when it comes to like credit cards or whatever. Of course, that could also be your energy. So what they like about you, my dear Pisces, the Knight of Wands, again, like they are not going to be able to keep their hands off of you. They find you very sexy, very attractive. They find you to be very fun. I'm telling you, it's going to be the best, you know what, that you've had or they've ever had. They're probably going to tell you that. Yeah, I also think you connect through music. You're going to like the same type of music. All right, the Five of Cups. Yep, they like that you're healthy, that you're in a healed energy. Yeah, and you bring this person peace. It's just like just you being you, you being around them brings them peace. And we've got the Page of Cups. Expect a love offer coming in here, Pisces. I feel like it's happening soon, um, but we'll have to see. What else does this person really love about my Pisces, please? What else does this person really love about my Pisces, please? Yeah, they see you as they love your entrepreneurial spirit, um, that you are creative and that you can turn anything into gold, okay, and that you delight in sharing life's riches. I feel like this is going to be a very abundant, very rich connection, not just on the physical levels, but also I think you two share the same vision for the future. You both might be entrepreneurs. You're both very hardworking. It's like you both want nice things, have nice things, are going to help each other get nice things. Again, it's not all about the the physical, the material, but you're going to have a nice life together. And this person, Pisces, is going to be kind of enamored with you um, because, and, and I see this with Midas and Miser, a lot of my Pisces that I'm connecting with, you may not have been born with a silver spoon in your mouth, right? And this person really likes what you've made of yourself, how hard you work, how determined you are. Some of you have a rags to riches story, but not all of you, but this person just likes the way you are. They know you've been through it. They know you're no dummy and they respect you for it, but they also just respect the fact that you didn't like wallow in despair or like self-destruction. I love that. All right. And yeah, and they see, and there's, there's a playfulness to you Pisces here. 
um, that you're determined to remain young in body, mind, and spirit. I do see two people that are both going to be health conscious. I'm not picking up on this being vanity, but you do both really, it matters how you look, how you present yourselves. And I think you're going to be quite a good looking couple, the way you dress, the way you take care of each other. You two might work out together, just do like healthy activities together. But they also just love your ability to see things with fresh eyes because you may see things differently, but this person really appreciates it. Like they appreciate your point of view. They respect your point of view here. That's what I'm seeing. Now, this person could have cancer in their chart with this chariot card. They could also be coming in from a distance. Like I don't know if they're currently abroad or they're coming in from abroad or they travel for work or maybe they just have to get in their car to come and see you. So it could be like, you know, they can't walk to your house, right? but they may have to, you know, drive 15, 30 minutes. I, I feel like it's probably 30 minutes or more. Um, let's see. And I also feel this is going to be just a, such a beautiful, like you two are going to really like take care of each other. You two are going to feed each other again, maybe not necessarily like you're going to be, you know, spoon feeding them dinner or anything like that. Although could, you know, it could happen, but I feel like that's how you two are going to show each other love by like really taking care of each other, being compassionate, feeding each other, cooking for each other, you know, um, yeah, just like doing sweet things for each other. So someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. We kind of see that your person here is awakened. So, you know, I feel like both of you may be able to talk about, you know, the times that you went through an awakening. I feel like when it comes to spirituality, you two are definitely on the same page. Okay. Now we see this connection is passionate, but not enduring. I'm not seeing that. Although, you know, you, you did, if you've been here in this reading, you know that this connection is definitely passionate, but you do have to be careful with Mercury retrograde, especially if this person comes in in the next couple of weeks. And I'm doing this reading on the 6th of August, Mercury retrograde connections can burn hot and really fast. Okay. So it is a little bit of a warning. Okay. But it doesn't have to be the case. This is a destined partnership. And yeah, all right, so this is this is your destiny here, Pisces. Let's see. But I mean, do be aware too, like Mercury retrograde does present certain challenges for you know connections. All right, so this person could be somebody around you currently, like that you're not seeing, right? So I did pick up on there's a possibility for some of you, it's a secret admirer. We're seeing that some elements of this connect connection may be hidden. So take your time getting to know this person. Ooh, yeah, okay, so work could be something like, even though I feel like you two are a really good match and you two really get each other when it comes to like being entrepreneurial and to like what you do for a living and helping each other build and grow, you know, someone here might have really high work hours or you could have conflicting schedules, okay? So that could certainly lend itself to, you know, having a hard time like really building a solid foundation here. Although I don't think that's true for most of you. This person's going to step up and take the lead. And yeah, this person's going to come in and ask you out Pisces. They're going to, they're going to march forward here with this. Okay. So like I said, not for all of you, is this going to be a short lived connection, but it's definitely possible for some of you. Let's see. And can we get some important dates here for my Pisces, please? You will hear news soon. So this person is probably going to reach out soon. You're not meant to know exactly when and try again a little later. So some of you, it could be somebody that you have. I don't think you've been in a relationship with this person, right? But it, it could be that there's a stop and a start. And maybe that's that sexual passionate connection energy that I'm getting because then we see that work might get in the way. So it might start off like really heavy, really hot and really heavy. And then there could be like some work issues or if this person travels, but I do see them circling back around there. All right, Pisces, you're going to have to let me know how this resonates with you down below. If these messages do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, my dear Pisces. Take care.